Hi YouTube, this is Jen. Um, today is Monday, January 25th. It is day 24 of Project 365. Um, just quickly tell you a little bit about what I did today and probably talk about something else too. Um, today I seen Brandon, that's my boyfriend in case you don't know. Um, I'll put his information in the sidebar. Um, his username is death by information. I'll tag it in the thing. Yeah. Um, we went to, uh, this Chinese place that we've never been to before because I found a menu. I don't know when we got it. I found a menu in my house a while back and they have uh, like a lot of vegetarian stuff. So we checked that out. We both ended up ordering the same thing. It was a small place. Like they seem like most of their orders were probably take out because they only had like two tables in there. So it was a small place. Um, and Brandon and I both ended up ordering the same thing. We got um, orange seitan with broccoli. It was it was really good. I we we both really liked it. Um, it came with rice and a miso soup. So, that was good. That was fun. Um, uh, what else? Um, and we went to a health food store, got some vegan cheese, and we're going to make something with it later this week. Um... And, uh, what to talk about? Um, I had a question I wanted to ask all of you. And my comment question for the day is going to be, what are you nerdy about? Or what makes you nerdy? Everyone has something. Don't try to deny it. Do not try to deny it. We are all nerds in some way or another. I have lots of things that make me nerdy, like either interests or um, just behaviors, things that I do, behaviors that um, make me nerdy. <sighs> nerdy fact number one, I love to read, love to read. I don't read enough. I want to read more, but I do love to read. Right now, I'm reading Club Dead by Charlene Harris. This is book... Which book is it? Uh, book three in the series. So if you are interested in it, you should definitely look into it. The first book is Dead Until Dark. And it's the series that True Blood is based on. Nerdy fact number two. I play World of Warcraft. This is my uh, shirt. My boyfriend got me. Um, yeah. It's for a warlock. That's my class. I have a level 70 gnome warlock. Um, if you play WoW 2, send me a comment or a private message. And uh, we can find out if we're on the same server. I don't want to post all my information on here and have like a bunch of weird anti-vegan crazy stalker people creating a tune just to harass me. So yeah, if you actually like me and are my friend or subscriber on here and you're not a hater, I'll give you my information and uh, we can play together. And if you're new to WoW and you want to create a tune on my server, that's fine. I'm not as knowledgeable as a lot of people. But I'll help you any way I can. Um, nerdy fact number three. I might be a nature person, but I am crazy about technology. I have an iPod. I have an Amazon Kindle. If you don't know what that is, it's an ebook reader. I read most of my books on that, um, except ones that are either received as gifts or... Um, aren't available on Kindle. 
occasionally I'll read some that are not available on Kindle, especially if it's a series that I got into from before that I like. Like, um, next month I'm going to be reading Ink Death, which is the third book in the Inkheart trilogy. And Cornelia Funk, the author, is, um, I think she's from Germany or something, and none of her work is available on Kindle, so. Oh, well. Yeah. But I love my ebook reader. If you are a big reader, I recommend you get a, you get a Kindle. They're now available, I believe, worldwide, or just about every country. And, um. I highly recommend them. I am not getting endorsed or paid. I'm not getting any free products, free ebooks, or anything for doing this. But I love that product, and I have a video where I'm gushing about my Kindle, and you can find it on my channel. It's called One of My Favorite Things or something. Um, yeah. Nerdy fact number four. I collect lots of things. I think that's a very nerdy habit when you have lots of things that you collect. I collect lots of fashion items like necklaces, earrings, nail polish, of course vegan nail polish, vegan cosmetics. Um, I love scarves, that's something I'm nerdy about is like makeup and fashion. And um, I collect cat, thi cat things, cow, soy candles. I used to collect Lord of the Rings stuff, but um, not as much lately. Now I'm like into um, paranormal stuff like Twilight, New Moon, and the next movies that come out. And I have all the books on Kindle as well as on hardcover. So yeah, I collect things. And yeah, my obsession with um, paranormal books, television shows, and movies, I think is also something that makes me nerdy. So I guess that would be number five, the paranormal obsession thing. Um, nerdy fact number six. Um, I adore cows. I have a nerdy reaction when it comes to cows. This is why I'm including this as a nerdy fact. Um, anytime I see a cow and like a real cow, uh, I will kind of high pitch squeal, like, oh my gosh, it's a cow! And like louder than that, but I don't want to um, heavily disturb you. But I'm like, cow! And I like get all excited with cows, so I have a nerdy reaction with cows. Um, I think the reason why I love cows so much, and I'm not a speciesist or whatever, I believe in equal rights for all animals and everything, but I think the reason why I have such a close um, emotional connection with cows is because the last time that I ate meat when I decided to go vegetarian, what I was eating at the time was cow. I was eating canned spaghetti and meatballs. Of all things to go out with, I did not go out with a bin. Um, I was eating canned spaghetti and meatballs. And I recall a time when I went to a dairy farm when I was in Girl Scouts. And if you're in another country and you don't know what that is, it's basically a club thing that uh, girls join and they like do activities and things. And they earn badges and points and things like that. Or, yeah, they go on trips and things. And I pictured a cow that I'd seen at this dairy farm in my head when I was eating the canned spaghetti and meatballs. And I, pitched, I remembered it licked my hand. And that was years and years ago. It was years ago that that happened. And I pictured that cow. At that exact moment, I pictured that cow in my head that licked my hand. And I said, this is the last meat I'm going to eat. I slipped up once a year, a year later, but that was the only time. And I've been vegetarian ever since and vegan since two years after that. So hope you enjoy my video. Bye-bye.